He loved the way that she found her spot here in, in the art room. She was here pretty much every day, all day. He had a vision to have Audra at the heart of that vision and her love and her passion. One of the first things that Audra did was come and take a look at the art room. She came back and I said, well, what kind of person is Kathy? And she said, she's an angel. George's generous gifts, including his most recent gift for our renovation, has really allowed our program to expand. It's ensured our future. We've expanded our space so more people can come down and use the studio, both in our uh, scheduled groups and independently. He started an endowment, first and foremost, for the creative arts and expressive arts to ensure that it continued on into the future and being able to really have the programmatic aspect. But then when this opportunity came along of looking at the space and seeing what we can do differently, he just ran with it. It's my philosophy that you have no right to live in any place without improving it. It should be better when you leave than it was when you arrived. Really with philanthropy, it drives everything we do here at Judson. And a space like this and some of the other aspects that people have given to inspire others and create new opportunities and programs and spaces and how we serve people has changed us dramatically through philanthropic efforts. George and Adra chose Judson because of our arts culture. Adra was a wonderful artist and a wonderful human being. She would inspire people, and I think people remember her as being this wonderful light. You take like uh, the Reverend Reed Isaac, who thought he couldn't paint, and Audra said, try it. <laughs> try it. You'll like it. And he did. I was just learning to paint, and I came into the art room, and I sat down opposite her on the table and she would look at what I did and encourage me and make suggestions about things that I hadn't thought of. And it was a nice, easy relationship. I was very grateful for that. Art is not only important in people's lives, it's necessary in people's lives. In planning for the renovation of the art studio, George told me that Audra was magnificent, and she really was. He said that he wanted the studio to be as magnificent as she was. And I think we've reached our goal. And I have that confirmation from residents every day. On behalf of Judson, thank you, George, for your generosity, for inspiring others, and your commitment to bringing community to life. Thank you.